definitely knew that I didn't want to do something that was like the traditional path of studying abroad. I didn't, as much as I love Europe, I didn't really want to go to Europe. I wanted to do something that was a little bit more off the beaten track. And so I thought, why not look at Africa? <laughs> and the one in Botswana was the one that like most spoke to what I was interested in. It gave me the opportunity to look at public health, which is something that I'm passionate about but haven't had a big opportunity to explore at UCSB. And then it also tied in environmental health, which is something that I study here, but it gave me the opportunity to do it hands-on. You're required to take six classes. So the classes were interesting. It was through the local university there, and I was in classes with maybe 30 to 50 students, and every student who was there had been scholared by the country, they had been working their whole lives trying to be able to go, they had families at home who needed them, who needed money that they were making, they had siblings they were taking care of, and they were giving that up, or at least putting that on the side to go and get an education. And it didn't always work out. I mean, I was in these pretty large enrolled classes, and a lot of times I'd be the only person there because they couldn't afford to get to school that day, or they couldn't give up whatever obligation they had to get to school that day. So a lot of times it was just me and the professor. And it really made me realize like how much I took my education for granted to be sitting in a class and be like, wow, I'm the only person who was able to come to school today because I didn't have anything else going on. And that also gave me a better education because I got to work one-on-one -on -one with the professor. My advisors there presented us with a lot of other opportunities that we could do and a lot of people did different things. I had one friend who worked on a safari uh, reserve. I had another friend who worked for women's rights and so she was looking at sex workers and their rates of HIV. I did two internships. One was through public health and then the other one was through an environmental organization. So the public health one was coupled with my program. If you were doing the Botswana program, you can either decide to do a public health internship or you can pick an arts and humanities type internship. So basically every week I would go to village clinics and basically just learn how to do basic care. It was a really, really eye-opening experience to go into clinics and see hundreds of people needing assistance. My other internship was through an environmental agency called Somelarong Tiki Logo. When I showed up, they were just really grateful to have a third person who was willing to help out, so I had a lot of say in what was going on. They really valued my opinions and my input, so it definitely gave me that kind of leadership experience in the position that I wasn't necessarily expecting, but it worked out really well, I think, in the end. But it was an experience that I could never get here, and I'm really glad that I did because it's for sure shaped any further experience that I will have here. In Botswana, the school has dorms that are designed primarily for their international students from other African countries. So like the students from Zimbabwe and Angola and blah blah blah. And so I was living there with other international students. And that was interesting as well. I lived in a dorm room with one other girl who was from Botswana and we got along really well. She was really nice. I liked her a lot. Well, the dorm life was challenging. It was just basically a room with like a little cot. And I slept on the cot. And then we would have like um, bucket baths. So there wasn't like a bathroom type situation like we have here. I'd have to like take a bucket of water and like pour it onto myself. There wasn't any laundry facilities or anything. So I had to hand wash all of my clothes every week, which was Interesting, definitely got a lot of muscle strength, but like I said, it was an incredible experience and I'm really glad that I had it and I wouldn't have changed it. The program that I was in had a lot of things for us to do outside, so I was always volunteering or doing an internship or working in clinics. I mean, the whole Botswana program was half school-based and then half internship-based, so I was working in village clinics and going around and working with doctors and observing patients and learning how to do initial treatment care and public health as a broad spectrum and how it impacts communities there. So it was not a lot of free time, but I certainly had a lot of time to travel. So I was living in Botswana, but was able to go to basically all the surrounding African countries, which was really, really cool. The 
natural life. It's not something that you can experience here. You don't walk around and see elephants crossing the street here. You don't have to stay inside your car at night because there's a lion walking around. Although recently there has been here. But <laughs> um, being able to travel around that area too was insane. It was basically like traveling back in time. Like it was going to some of the most beautiful, pristine, natural places in the world and having no one else there. No fences, no park rangers, no anything, no trash, no pollution. It was just totally untouched. Giving me the opportunity to take the things that I had been learning about here and then apply them to real world situations and learn more by doing it in a real life time and having those skills that I could then bring back to UCSB. And I am now in classes again and really heavily drawing on the experiences that I had abroad and it's shaping the way that I'm learning here now.